Yo, what it do, what it do. So late night, it's review time. Did Royce 5-9 earlier. So jumping into this, I'm going to try not to make this too long. This is NBA Young Boy or Young Boy Never Broke Again. Because I think about the name, like NBA and stuff, probably have legal stuff. So it's Young Boy Never Broke Again. Still flexing, still stepping. 14 songs, 38 minutes, man. Let's get into the project. She, uh, he a young brother. He kill it virally and stuff. Like, as far as, like, YouTube and stuff, man, like, he's one of the top artists in the rap genre. Probably, maybe number one. Like, whenever he drops, he get millions and millions of views in the days. But I want to see how accurate those views are. Because as far as, like, uh, YouTube and stuff, he kill it. But I want to see, like, the streaming numbers. And I want to see, like, as far as, uh, in other platforms on Spotify, on uh, Apple Music and stuff. I want to see if he gets the number one album this week or whatever. See if those numbers are accurate. Because in this, this age, you can buy views and stuff like that. So, I hopefully that's not the case. Let me see if these views are accurate. But uh, anyway, not trying to hate because he from Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana. So, I got, got to do this review. But I came from... That I always say I'm from Louisiana, but you probably would think I would be more biased on like an East Side project, like a Griselda Records or something. But I'm kind of like more biased against like a Louisiana project or something like that. But track number one, R.I.P. Lil Fat. Lil Fat, he uh, died a few years ago and stuff. I want to say I think he died in Atlanta and stuff, man. A lot of Louisiana MCs have died, man. It's good for him to uh, show Lil Fat some love. So many Louisiana MCs have died or going to prison, man. It's just a regular occurrence of, of Louisiana artists, man. I would say, uh, man, you got to get away from here, but Lil Fat, man, he died somewhere else. So, uh, but anyway, you got that classic Louisiana sound to it. Uh, I think it's a, a BG flip on this beat and stuff, but uh, other than that, uh, it's, it's, it's a terrible song. It's a terrible song. I ain't gonna lie. Like, whenever that BG up, I think it's BG, but when that beat came on, I'm like, oh, they're going to fuck with this down here. But then he started rapping. I was like, nah. Number two, knocked off. Got a hard piano beat. He's saying some hard stuff about how he killing niggas and stuff like that. I can see the kids liking it, but this ain't really for me. Like, I don't I don't really mess with this one. Number three, Lil Top. This one was a little more melodic than the first two. Better than the first two, but still not quite there. Still not something I really like. Number four, Red Eye. I like this one. I like this one right here. Uh, I kind of like when he kind of like more in his young thug type bag. Like he more sang, real singing on this one. I like this one, man. And the hook is, the hook is real catchy. I really like that hook. Number five, Fine By Time. I like this beat. It give me a Miami kind of vibe to it. And he getting his melodic uh, rapping bag. I like this one as well. Number six, Suited Panam Panamera, um, featuring Quando Rondo. When I first seen this, I don't know why, when I seen Quando Rondo, I was thinking Quavo. I was like, oh, Quavo on here. But no, it's Quando Rondo. <laughs> but anyway, classic sound. I feel like I heard this song a million times in the South. Like, in the South, name a Southern artist or something. Like, especially like in the younger generation. It, they have a song like this. I promise you they have a song like this. Where they trying to be like in the deep bag or something. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you have heard this song a million times, man. But it's all right. It's all right. I like it. Number seven, How You Want It. Uh, this is like a ghetto love record. The verse is not bad, but the hook is terrible, man. The hook is terrible. It sounds offbeat. Number eight, Long Road. Laid back joint. I like this one right here. I like this one. Number nine, OK. This is terrible, man. It's, it's all offbeat. Like, he just all off beat on this joint right here. Number 10, Batman. I can see the youngsters messing with this one, man. Just the vibe of it. I can feel like a, a younger generation really liking this one and, and stuff, man. He, I don't know if he got a video for this one. He get make so many videos. He might have a video for this one. But I can see you probably making a video for this one if he doesn't already. But it's not really not really for me. But I can I can see other people liking it. Number 11, Call Me Late. This one, I kind of sound like he, he like talking about his demons and stuff and things he going through. So, Alright. Number 12, Gunsmoke. Gun track. 
Like he pow, 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 pow. <laughs> the hook ain't too bad on here, but it's just super ignorant and stuff. Number 13, Bad Bad. Ain't terrible. It's just another one that's just not for me. Number 14, No Understand. He in his melodic bag. More of a self-reflective type joint. So I I kind of I like this and I like the way he ended it off, man. But overall, this project, man, is just like I'm gonna keep it 100. Like but I'm in my 30s, man. So look, I'm not the one to go to for a NBA Young Boy review and stuff. But I, I did this for Louisiana. I know everybody always, man. Man, you gonna review this? You gonna review this? You gonna review? So without somebody asking and coming at me, he's one of the bigger artists. So I'm giving you this review. But look, since this is me. This is me and y'all. We go through this every week. You see the stuff I like. You see I like R&B. I like lyrical rap. This right here, you can't expect me to be like, oh. So before y'all kill me in the comment section and talk about, man, you just old, you don't know. Yes, I am old. And I guess I don't know. Because I do not like this. I do not like this. Even the songs I was saying, like I liked or something, like I can stomach those. If I heard those in certain settings, I can stomach them. But there's nothing on here that I really care for too much. I would give this a... Man, since I know y'all love him so much, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. But they got a lot that's off rhythm. A lot that's just so ignorant. Like, even the 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 singing... I don't like that. <laughs> but, man... It feel like I have killed off so many brain cells. I feel dumber from listening to this album. That is honestly how I feel. I feel stupider. Like from listening to this. This just ain't for me. This just ain't for me. I'm sorry. I tried to get this a chance and get this review for y'all, man. But look, y'all gonna have to... Maybe find somebody younger or something, man, that maybe can, can understand this and stuff. I don't like this at all. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh-uh. Like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest of the most hated, man. If you want hip-hop reviews, if you want to see somebody talk about something lyrical or something and, and give you a breakdown and you want to hear something, uh, some R&B and stuff, or the, the bigger artists and stuff, man. But, if, man, if you expecting me to give a positive review of this, you are sadly mistaken. Uh-uh. I do. Mm -mm. I don't. I do not see it. I don't see it. I don't see how y'all love these cats. So, I I don't want to be hating. I don't want to be hating. This is trash. This. <laughs> oh, this is trash. This is trash. Oh, this is trash. Man, this is trash. <laughs> oh, peace out.